Hey guys, Ryan Jensen, Bob Hurley RV. Today we're looking at the 2022 Keystone Alpine 3650RL. This is one of the floor plans that when Alpine first came out, man, it's one of the first ones they designed. It's one of my favorite ones on the lot. It's about 38, 39 feet overall. This is the one where if you say, hey, I want just under 40 feet, I don't want over 40. My garage is just under 40, but I want all the camper I can get. This is a great option. A couple things I like about Alpine stuff is they're four season campers. You've got automatic standard um, built in heating pads on all your tanks. You've got the two 15K uh, quiet AC systems built on board. So these are built for full timing. They're residential. They have a ton of storage. They're at the top of the Keystone line, kind of in the same range Montana is, but all the Alpine is going to be the top, top of the line. Um, so very, very cool layouts. Let me show you a couple things here that I like about this. Number one, let's start in this area. Very similar to the 3220 kind of on this side, but you've got some nice big storage there up top. Um, everything you're going to see in here is storage. Storage everywhere, built for full-time use, built for residential use. You got a big 55-inch Jensen TV there that does swivel out. You can also go the side swivel, do the couch over there, or kind of even over towards the kitchen, you know, if you like to, tabletop area as well. So big, nice, big soil TV. You've got a built-in radio system here. I wanted to play this just so you can see this, but just turn that on. You got built-in stereo, built-in speakers on an FM stereo is what I'm on there. But you've also got, uh, let me turn that up a little bit so you can hear it, but. So not bad, pretty good, pretty good quality. And again, you can Bluetooth that, and you can also run a DVD or movie through that as well and, and have that right there. So it's nice and central. You also have an electric fireplace right there as well. I like electric because it spits out electric heat, not propane. Uh, so what's cool is if you're already paying for electric at an RV park, you can shoot out electric heat in here and still warm this area, which is cool. Moving into the back living room area, notice you do have the three windows. You can get the cross breeze winds going on there. This is a full pullout queen bed. This does pull out for a bed. If you've got guests staying in with you, that's an optimal spot for them. They've got all the good stuff down here. TV, theater, seats, refrigerator, all the goodies. And then obviously you do have two chargers on both sides there. These Kinex chargers are very cool. You literally, as long as you're into power, you can put your phone down on that. It will charge your phone. So that's a win. You do have USB chargers, on, I'm sorry, 12 volt chargers on both sides of the couch there. And then you also have your day and night shades. I like these day and night shades better because they rarely break. You know, the old school ones that have the screen, screen, strings on both sides can easily be broken and they're not as dark as those are. So that's a win. Moving into the living room here, let's check out these theater seats. These do have USB ports built into both sides. They're heated. They have, uh, they have uh, massagers and they also have lights built in as well. Kind of the upper end of the, uh, the theater seating realm, but they do face directly toward your TV and your entertainment center and your fireplace. Yes, my friends, they do face directly toward your entertainment center, so you don't have to crank your neck as you're trying to watch those. Moving into the kitchen, you do have the nice convection microwave. Again, everything in mind with Alpine is full-time use, residential use. I'm just gonna point out a little more of the storage here, so you have storage up top. This is kind of cool. This is actually a built-in solid surface countertop there. These drawers slide in, and you can put like a, you know, a plate there or food there, it will not burn there. If you're storing something warm in there, you can close that up and leave it there for a little bit and keep it warm. So kind of a cool idea. You don't see that in many fifth wheels. And then obviously you've got some more storage down there below, but just nice big deep storage. Again, you're going to see that everywhere in this floor plane in the Alpine. So that's very cool. Moving into the kitchen, notice you've got a nice big island here. I can barely extend my arms all the way across. This is just a ton of countertop space. You've got an upgraded sink, uh, I'm sorry, an upgraded uh, faucet there. And then over here on the other side, you do have this nice big residential oven. This is something Alpine's done in their newer 22 models. The 21s, you're not going to see this, but you've got the four burners with a full, uh, you know, pull down oven. You can put a big old turkey in there if you want to, uh, but a lot of people want this big residential oven. Again, this is built for full-time use, so they, why not get the residential oven with the four, with the four burners? You've also got this nice uh, oven hood as well, cosmetic looking, looks good to the eyes. Uh, let me go over this real quick in the island here. You do have four full pull-out drawers, a little refrigerator lock there. Um, notice you can see the back of this when you pull it out. They're all wood, they're metal glides, and there are four of them. So nice big storage there. You've also got four more over here on this side of the kitchen as well. So a lot of uh, hidden storage, which I like. You've got a couple of trash cans, sliders in there as well. So nice big area for the kitchen. And then obviously on my right, you've got the residential refrigerator. I call that a twin cooling Samsung fridge. And then you've also got a nice maker built in here as well and that one down there. So nice big residential fridge. I like residential because they're bigger, they store more, they cool down quicker and they're off an inverter. So all the win there. 
This is kind of where the floor plan differentiates between the rear living on the, on the smaller Alpine, but you get the washer dryer downstairs. It's a huge deal. I like the washer dryer downstairs because if you're, if you're sleeping, you can run this overnight and it's not right next to your head. So there are a lot of customers who've said, hey, I want the washer dryer downstairs. I don't want to mess with it upstairs. I want it down in the living room area. So you do have the built-in washer dryer. Also, if you don't want a washer dryer, you pick up more storage right there as well. So it doesn't take up your storage and back and you also pick up uh, the addition uh, benefit of it being downstairs. Your control panel is actually right in here. Uh, Keystone does do the in-command system. I love in-command because it's very easy to see. It's very easy to use. Here's all of your stuff. Tank heaters right there, HVAC system right there, slides, lights, all the above. You can control everything on this uh, particular system, which is nice. It also links to your phone, so I can go into the RV park level my camper, get the slides out, get the ACs running, turn the lights on before I even set foot in the camper. So that's a big win. Get a little more storage as well. There's your uh, central vac system right there as well. So you can see that. Let's go ahead and take a walk up here. Notice I'm walking up the left side of the camper. That's unique. It's a little different. We don't see that every day, but I'm going to go ahead and walk through the bathroom this way. You can access this bathroom from the bedroom as well, but I'm going to access, access it from the living room. Let me step in the shower first. Notice this is the three doors. I like the three because it opens up more and they're glass. And then uh, I can stand up in here. I'm 5'11". This is about 6'3", 6'4", so it's easy to stand up in here. Notice you do pick up the seat in here. I like the uh, rectangular showers just because they're bigger. They feel more open. It's nicer. It's fiberglass. It's the upgraded version in my book. Pass-through bathrooms are always a little bigger than regular bathrooms. Notice when we walk in the bedroom here. Uh, you got the toilet right there on the corner. We've got this nice big king bed walk around. Uh, notice you also have a seating area in here too. I like these because great place to put your shoes off and on. Some fifth wheels do this, some don't, but I'm a big fan of this because I love to take my shoes off and on sitting down somewhere. So that really helps uh, if you want to tie those shoes there. And then you pick up some more storage here. Let's take a look at that. But those, you got three full pull-out drawers there, a little more storage there, some nice countertop area, and a, you have a built-in TV right there that does swivel. And you've also got some storage on both sides of the bed. Notice those are wardrobe storage there. You do have it on one, two, and then you've also got an additional uh, pull-out drawer, all three of them as well, and a storage here, and then a little pull-up makeup area there as well for additional storage. And then notice Alpine does the glass here in back. I love the glass. There is a shade for that if you don't want to wake up with the light there. However, I love that because you can see whatever you're parked against. If you're at the, you know, if you're at the RV park, you're parked against the ocean, you're parked against the, the forest, you can see whatever uh, you know, you're, you're looking at straight ahead. So I think that's a big win and they look sharp. Again, we're in the 2022 Keystone Alpine 3650RL. Come check it out today at Bob Hurley RV.